So, I'm privileged to uh, be the first masterclass speaker. So, without further ado, all right, I'm going to kick start the very first session. This is me. So, I'm going to tell you, I'm sure you can read about me on the guide. You can always Google my name, but as a fun fact, I want to tell you. Once upon a time, I was a licensed matchmaker. I operate a dating agency before social media comes about. My track record was to have matchmake 200 couples in four years. By matchmake, I mean they eventually get married. All right, so in four years, I had 200 couples. So I'm going to share to you a topic that is close to my heart. Because during my time in the dating agency, I have a lot of ladies who ask me and tell me their challenges. They say a lot of guys are going after them, but many of them are not their type. Ladies, have you ever had a guy that likes you, but he's just not your type? Have you? You know, this type really exists, and it is the personality that we are talking about. And why are we talking about personality? It's something that's so introspective. And why are we starting on this topic in a digital marketing conference? A lot of conferences, we talk about strategy, we talk about tactics, we talk about campaign, but nobody talks about the profile of the digital marketer. So I'm going to talk about the profile of the digital marketer so that you get to know who you are, and through this knowledge, you get to hire the right people to form the right team so that the thinking and the approach is more wholesome. So this is the time for us to examine ourselves, understanding ourselves better, and, and use this system to understand others better. So I'm going to do a simple personality test. OK? So is everybody ready for a simple test? Yes? Oh, I need some more energy because I've already done so many icebreakers. OK? Let's not prove to the world that digital marketers are boring. All right, let's have some energy. So I'm going to do an icebreaker to understand your type. So let's do this. So I'm, so I'm going to skip all the slides because this is just about me. OK, I'm going to get to, uh, you can always download the slides after two weeks. OK, this is it. I have nine photographs here, and nine pictures. I want you to take a minute, look at them. There are three columns. One, two, three. Look at them. Don't think too much. Just resonate. Every column, select a picture that you feel resonate with your personality. That this, the energy of this picture and the person inside, whatever he's doing, whatever he's trying to say, that is me. Okay? This is a good time to use a mobile. All right, you can use your mobile. In case you forget your selection, you can always check back your mobile phone. So if you can zoom in, every column, pick one best picture that best represents your personality. So I'm going to give you 30 seconds to think about it and to take a picture. And I'll tell you what to do next. Fifteen seconds more. One column, this way, this way, all right? Not this way. So two, three, four, select one. Five, six, seven, select one. Eight, nine, one, select one. Okay, so you have selected your three. Now, next thing. I want you to use the final three and select the one closest to what you are. You are closest to who you are. Rearrange them mentally at least according to the degree of resonance. So you have three numbers, right? So for example, you've chosen three, seven, and one, but you find that actually it's seven, three, one. Just, can you write it down, seven, three, one, so that you don't forget. All right, and after this conference, you connect with me, and I will tell you the puzzle. But now I'll just tell you the overview, all right? So you got it? Have you arranged your final three according to the degree of importance to you? You done it? Good. So, I'm going to share to you nine personality types based on your selection. Now, if I, am, if I happen to talk about a card that you have chosen, 
please be ensured that I'm not talking about you because I do not know you per se before today. I'm just sharing what the card means and the combination of that three number because it is very revealing that you understand why you do what you do. Why are you having some success in the area that you're focusing on in digital marketing? So, are you ready? Okay, let's go. Anyone, se anyone selected this grass cutting? This first one, the grass cutting. Okay, okay. Uh, I want to protect everybody's privacy, so uh, you don't want to tell me. All right, you just know it in your heart. If you have selected this card as the number one card, you are what I call a perfectionist. Okay, you have very high standard in what you do. You are dedicated in everything, and you're very reasonable. Meritocracy to you is important. Black and white, it's black and white. There's no gray area. There are certain words that people talk about that will infuriate you. Words like compromise. Words like let's meet each other halfway. To you, there's no such thing. The world is only left or right, top or bottom, black or white. It's just so simple. Your workplace is likely to be very, very neat because you don't believe in having an organized mess. Okay? So you are consistently very hardworking. And this is, whenever I show a slide like this, this is how you read. The row in at the middle are the neutral words that describe you. The one that on top are the words used by people who like you. The words at the bottom are frequently used by people who don't like you. Now, why do I say that? There is a personality and there's also a perception. How many of you agree with me? Perception is often stronger than the truth because it is a perception of our personality that makes people have a certain judgment about us. So while you may be a perfectionist, all right, you have certain challenges. The certain challenges are, are they consistently feel that the world is always full of mistakes. If you have a boss, if you have someone who is a perfectionist, you have your work checked 10 times, when you pass to the person within two seconds, he can, he can notice a mistake. He is always looking out for mistakes. Your mistakes, not his mistakes. He is very good in spotting mistakes. So in the area of digital marketing, this person is very interested in best practices, in having ROI. He is an excellent person to draft out a lot of return of investment. To him, everything must be clean and proper and he has a certain way of doing everything. His way is the way. Okay? Now, all of us are a perfectionist in certain ways. But what makes someone a real perfectionist? A real perfectionist is someone who imposes his standard on other people. I am the standard. You have to meet my standard. This is the characteristics of a perfectionist. Now, there's no right or wrong type. Every one of us is gifted in something. But if you have this card, particularly the very first card, you are a perfectionist and the world needs you because the world needs a structure. You are the most structured and organized person anyone can find. All right? So I'm going to invite this person out the door. I'm going to have another one. How many of you, you have chosen This card, okay, one of the cards. This one, I must see your hands. Can I see your hands? Can I see your hands? Wow, you see, there are a lot of people here. Okay, this is what I call a helper. How do I describe you? You are someone who is generous, someone who has a lot of empathy. You are a great listener. You are a giver. You are very sensitive to the needs of others. You are totally selfless. All right, you have one challenge. You know what's the challenge? Your challenge is you find it hard to reject others. You find it hard to say no. So these are the best people to borrow money from, actually. <laughs> because you just can't afford to say no. Oh, it's everything is so dark outside. Okay. People who are very people-focused, they are very in touch with human beings' feeling. Now, what are the jobs that you think this person is very well suited to do? Uh, there's something going on behind. Okay, it's good. Sure, no worry, no worry. All right, 
Okay, let me. Okay, so so in the so in the uh, benefit of time, let me tell you, people who have this card, you are a helper. The jobs that you like to do will be customer service. You are very good with with people. You are very inclined to do charity work. You are a good counselor. All right, and you are a very good teacher. If you are a perfectionist, the kind of jobs that resonate with you are accountant, auditor, lawyer. And judge and policeman. These are jobs that requires you to be very process focused. But a helper, you are very inclined to be into jobs that allows you to be people's focus. So this is the two very different personality. And if you are two, you are very very connected with people, and that is a good thing. So, ah,、uh, people who are very people focused, they are very interested in digital marketing to. Craft out what is the need of the customer. They are very good with coming up with buyer persona. They are very good with profiling, and they are very good with customer retention because everything they do and focus is really on people itself. Okay, so I want to ask how many of you you have chosen the competitor's card. You know the running card, number three. You have chosen number three. So if you are through number three. How I describe you? You are very optimistic. You are very practical, competitive. You are very. Com- you reply easy. Hours. You just can't stand people who are slow, and you are an excellent person to motivate others. To you, everything is inspiring. It's very easy to spot you in the workplace. Your office is probably full of pictures of your trophies, your certificates. And your Facebook is probably filled with pictures with important people. You know how to package yourself very. So, this is what I am saying. You are excellent in perform. You are what you do. You have no problem working hard. You have no problem standing out, standing out in competition. However, you are very emotionally shut down. You don't like small talk. All right. You just want to stay focused and be known for what you can do. You are what you do. So in digital marketing, you you love KPI. Someone, none of the people here love KPI. But if you are a number three, if you are a competitor, you love you love how to measure success, and you are a excellent person to do PR. That is why the jobs that this person are inclined to do will be marketing, branding. What else? PR. All right, MC. Anything that puts him on the limelight, he love it. He just can't wait to show off his talent. Now, as a marketing team, you need to have people like this because these person are very effective in finding what is the best way to automate a process. They are very good in writing KPI. So this is the champion. As long as you have something for him to show off, what he can do. Right. So again, I say there's no right or wrong type. This is a type three. How many of you you selected the crayon card? The crayon card. Oh, okay. You are highly creative. You you feel in a very deep way. You connect with the world with emotions. All right. And you are intuitive. You are also very unique. Why? So let me say that. So. Let's focus on some of the words here. You can connect with the world through your emotions. You always feel that the world needs you because the world is short of colors. You will be able to give people a wow factor, a very wow factor. So、uh, you are very creative because you spend a lot of time with yourself. All right. Have you ever had friends who tell you, "Andrew,、uh, I enjoy a lot of me time." You know, me time. Me time is spending time with themselves, so they do not need to have a lot of friends. They just need to have people who can understand them. Okay, so people who have this personality often end up as being artist, programmer, producer, writer,、um, web designer, anything that enables them to show forth their creative talent. They will need it. Okay, but what is their Challenge in life. Every type has a challenge. Let me tell you, your challenge as a creative person is that you have a tendency to self-destruct because when success is very near, you often think that you are not there yet. 
So it's about the process of self-sabotaging. All right. I can't tell you uh, all the details in one hour, but I want to share to you something. Hopefully that we can get in touch. I can share to you more material. This is just an outlook for you to, to, to enable you to study personality. So a person like this are very good with user experience and user design. So please put the person in the right job scope. He's very good in storytelling. He's very good in personal branding. Anything to do with creativity, he's there. So you've got to put the right person in the right job. So storytelling is not for everyone. Not everyone can be a good storyteller. Sometimes it has to do with your personality. Okay, number five. So I want to share to you, who has, this, who has the Sherlock Holmes card? The Sherlock Holmes card. Okay, so Sherlock Holmes, you are cool and collected. You use your mind very much. You are very objective and you are very perceptive. Why do I say that? You are the guru. You love to be consumed with knowledge. To you, nothing is enough. You just want to know more. You can be very quiet in a meeting for three hours. You don't say a single word, but you know what is going on. And when someone asks you at the end, what do you think? You can say in one sentence and summarize the entire three hours. It's amazing. And you know, Sometimes it's very frustrating talking to someone who is very learned, very intellectual. Why? Have you ever had people, when you ask them a question, their first response is, it depends on what you want. This question can be answered in five different ways, four different levels. They have so, much, so many answers that they just can't tell you one pointed one that you want to them. Nothing is certain and they are always cynical. Now, why is it important? Someone that we know is like that. Bill Gates is like this. Bill Gates is highly intellectual. But what is their struggle in life and at work? They need all the information to make a decision. Therefore, they are the worst decision maker you can find at work because they deliberate so much. So in terms of digital marketing, how do you put them in the right place is that they are very good with research all your keywords and adwords for seo please look for them they are very ex they, they are excellent in the job and they and they really know how to analyze and do prediction and trend because they have taken account all the different material so you need to find someone very intellectual if you need your team members to engage in the following activities that is for type five what we call an observer now I have four more. How many of you, you have chosen this teamwork card? This is a very unique card. Teamwork, it's about being a loyalist. Now, how many of you are, are, are type 6? Okay, a few. Okay, congratulations. You are the most complicated type of all. So let me explain to you. Let me explain to you, okay? On one hand, you are very engaging. You are faithful, loyal. You love routine because you don't want surprises you are a very good follower on the other hand you have very low trust level to you you are, are always a devil's advocate so at work this is what you do you are either committed all right you can have the same job for 10 years and no complaint because you are in fact someone who do not like changes very much so you are in fact the worst partner to go free and easy travel with because to you, free and easy, see how it goes, pay by the year, these are words that you don't like to hear. You want something very consistent. You want an itinerary, you want a schedule. So in terms of digital marketing, you are a very good team player. You love to come up with a checklist just to make sure everything is done correctly. There's no surprises because everything needs to be secure. And you'll be very concerned about privacy. You are the best person to come up with privacy, okay? Um, yeah, come up with a privacy policy. Why? You want security. You want people to feel safe as well. So if you want someone to do a good job in the following area, you can do a simple personality test to make sure that he or she is a loyalist. I have a few more. How many of you, you have chosen this card I like to see you. This card, you're the adventurer. You are the type 7 adventurer. You are someone who is spontaneous, free spirit, 
risk taker and you know how to make tough work fun we need you because you can see the light of everything you are a very good visionary you can see the whole big picture very fast therefore you are not into details details make you feel that life is so boring you want to get on to the big idea when someone sell you a new idea you're so excited you want to get on with it okay now I want to be fair to you I want to tell you my three number my first number is three my second number is seven okay and I'll tell you how to decode all this later so a person like this you are flexible but you have one issue in life that is focus focus is going to be the issue because you are so caught up with having options to you many things are possible and you can't focus on making the right decision so in digital marketing you are someone who loves to multitask you are someone who are into event management because it is fun anything short term is fun you might like to work with different influencer your bloggers your instagrammer your youtubers and you are very good with coming out with campaign advertising is your thing now I can say that here how many of you chosen this strong man's cut can I see your hand strong man's cut okay you are Donald Trump in disguise why because you are you don't care what people think of you you just say it as it is no sugar coat you just get it done as long as there's something new nobody has ever done it you want to be there and you know what there's nothing wrong with that you just go and get it done you're not concerned about how people look at you so therefore you may be charging forward and because you are so straightforward you actually sounds like a curt person a rude person but it may not be so it is just seems this way all right so you are a marshmallow wrapped around by barbed wire to other people you are very strong and very direct and in fact this is what you would like to do most of the time in life you like to bang table all right because to them bang table and fighting for the right is what I stand for so at work anything to do with a new challenge in digital marketing anything new they have a way to get it done they are good in setting up something new be it setting up a new office in another new country anything that people have never done before which is a pioneering work they are there to do now let me tell you the last type and I want to how many of you you have chosen this Zen card how many of you okay that explains the energy in this room because all of us are peacemaker this is type 9 I call them peacemaker peacemaker are like Dalai Lama or Nelson Mandela they think of the greater good of people all right they are very facilitative they are very inclusive they have no temper almost no temper it's not it's not because they don't get angry they internalize the anger because for them it's about everyone's opinion have you ever talked to your colleague you you want to sell him a new idea and the first response he say is it's good but I want to see what the rest feel about this I want to know what the rest say about this so his opinion is not important others are before me now a peacemaker is unassuming his consensus seeking the problem is they get too much into discussion and facilitation they miss out the big picture so if you don't like a person like this you will use words like this stubborn procrastinating oblivious complacent indifference lazy but when a person takes his time it's not because he can't be bothered with you but because he has too many things in his mind to consider because he is a peacemaker world peace is important to them so why am I sharing this with you at the start of a conference this is my point just now I told you about three numbers right okay now I tell you the first number is something that personality type is something almost everyone whether they know you for a long time or not they can see in you okay you get it whatever number you have the first number is what people can see the second number is known to very few only your inner circle and the second number is the one that brand the first number what do I mean by that now 
take me for example, I'm a type 3, 378. I am a performer. I like to compete, but I like to compete in a fun way because my second number is about fun. It's about having options. So you got to look at your second number. That is how you brand the first number. Now, what about the very last number here? That number is very unknown, very unseen. It will be activated when you have a challenge in life. When you need to make very difficult position, that number will surface. So when, you, when your life is threatened, when your career is on the line, when you need to say no and you need to stand up for yourself, that number will surface. So why, so why are there three numbers? Aren't we just one type? We are multidimensional. I want to share with you something. You know why I asked you to choose it this way and I will give you more information. The left column tells me about how you feel. The center tells me about how you think. And the right tells me about your behavior. So if your first number comes from here, you are more of an emotional person than a rational person. If your first number comes from here, the middle column, you're more of a rational person than an emotional person. But what if your first number comes from there? You have no hate and no heart. No, just kidding. You are actually a gut feel person. You are a hybrid. Between the head and the heart is your gut. Why do I have this? It's because when you know personality, when you become a good profiler, you can use this to form your own team, number one. Number two, you can use this system to build your buyer persona or user persona because we base a lot of decisions from our personality. And there's two more things before I end. I want to share it to you, okay? Just two more things. Do you want to know your, shows, your social style? What do you do to get what you want? Okay, so, and, so if you have two or three out of this first row, four, five, and nine, okay? Four, five, and nine, if you have two or three out of this, you are more of a withdrawn person. That means you don't take initiative socially. You want other people to come and see you. They make a first move. So I saw it a lot just now. These are people who don't want to move. They just stick. They just stuck to where they are. They allow people to come to them. And, and, and that's okay because you are withdrawn. If you have anything, one, two, and six, any of these, two or three, or you have all, you are a compliant person. That means... It depends on your mood. You sometimes you can take the lead, sometimes you make you let other people take the lead. To you, as long as you are you are not standing up too much, you are okay. You're compliant. Now, 378. You see, I'm triple of this. I have all three. Okay? How many of you have 378? Or 873 or 837? Okay. You are assertive. You go out and get what you want. You go out and make things happen because that defines you. Why are you having energy in a normal networking? It's because you have most of this within your personality. Okay, last slide I want to show you. If you have, do you want to know your conflict style? What do you do when you don't get what you ask for? What do you do in life when you have a conflict? What do you do when your campaign fails? What do you react when your boss gives you something that is against your wish? It's against your value. What do you do? If you have three, five, or one, or two out of three, or three out of three, you are a competent person. Do you know how a three get out of trouble? A three get out of trouble by being flexible. A five, get out of trouble by analyzing who is right and who is wrong. A one, a perfectionist, he has no conflict with anyone. Do you know why? He's always right and you're always wrong. Okay, he has no conflict. So he's competent. But if you are three, two, seven, and nine, anyone, can I just ask, who has these three number together? Anyone in this room? Okay, if you ever find someone who has these three number, Please marry the person if you are still single. Why? You are triple positive. If you have these three together, can you imagine you are totally selfless, you are totally fun, and you listen to everyone together? That makes up the personality tri-type. Okay? Now, 
I don't want to say this, but I have to. How many of you, you have four, six, and eight, or two or three together? Don't, don't put up a hand, okay? Don't put up a hand. I don't, have, I don't have good news for you. If you have four, six, and eight, you are reactive. If you have two or three, you are reactive. Why? A four, everything is drama. Why? Why me? A six is always skeptical about the next danger. <gasps> oh no, the worst is yet to come. How about Donald Trump? How does he deal with conflict? Do you know who I am? How dare you do this to me? <laughs> that is how an egg will react because an egg will always fight. Now, why do we need to study personality? If you are interested in this topic, please Google Enneagram, E-N-N-E-A-G-R-A-M. You will have a lot of information online. If you, if you send me a message, I, I'll give you an e-book. It's a nine-page e-book, very easy. It's the shortest e-book in the world. All right, I don't need to sign up for anything. I can send you a booklet plus my slide. You can, you can actually uh, spend more time studying into it. Now, my, but my keynote is really this. Personality enables you to see your own marketing world because your world depends on who you are. If you see the world as black and white, you will do everything black and white. If you see your world as a track and field, there's a start point, ending point, you will react the same way. Everything is a start and stop. If you think the world is a garden, you will always smell the roses. That affects the way we are and the success we have. Number two, it enables us to, re to understand why people react in a different way. Why? When our campaign fails and we get the response from people that we're trying to target on, that gives us feedback on how to refine certain things. You can't do that unless you know how to study people. Reading people is one of the most important life skills that we need to have, more so in digital marketing. Last one. Studying personality determines how we adjust to buying decisions over time. The world is getting complicated because the buyers are smarter than the seller. They have a lot of options. The younger people have a different kind of thinking and we need to analyze their personality. We, have, we may have children who are actually in a Gen Y generation right now, and I think we need to know how to read their personality. We need to connect with them. The older ones will always need to reach out to the younger ones. So I hope this will give you something to think about. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful conference. This is just the opening. And please keep in touch. Thank you very much for hearing me. Yeah.